All right, so we're talking triangle of forces here. You might want to read that question, pause the video and try to draw the diagram. All right, have you drawn it? Let's take a look at what it actually looks like. All right, so we have a particle of mass eight kilograms. Now that force is moving directly downwards, eight kilograms weight. And then we have two strings that are 30 degrees and 40 degrees to the horizontal. And we don't know the tensions in those strings or those strings right there. So before I start turning this into a triangle, I think I wanna know a few more of the angles in play. Because you can see, I only know one of the forces. So if I only know one of the forces, I really need to know all of the angles or I'm never gonna get anywhere. So this angle here, we can see we have a triangle there. So 180 minus 30 plus 40, so 180 minus 70, that's 110 degrees there. Now, uh, this angle here and this angle here, there's a multitude of ways that you can figure it out. But the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to draw like a, a line down there that is parallel to that line there. And then I can use the Z rule to know that this angle which is 40 plus 90, which is 130, is equal to that angle there, 130 degrees. Just to show you that there's another way that you can do this, or many ways that you can do this, you can draw yourself in like a triangle like that, and that's a right angle triangle. You know that that's 50 degrees there, which means that that's 40 degrees there, and then the leftover bit's 90. 40 plus 90 is also 130. All right, if you know that's 130 and you know that's 110, we've got a revolution of angles there. So this angle here is going to be 360 minus the sum of those. 360 minus 240, which is 120. Okay, I haven't started sliding things around yet, but we're definitely getting there. We're going to take, I'm going to, you can do this in any way but I'm going to do it in the following way. I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to slide it up to there. What I'm actually going to do is draw everything directly beneath this one. All right, so this vector is that vector, that vector right there. Okay, I'm going to take this one and slide it up it. So I'm going to take it from there and I'm going to move it to there. Okay, and then this one here, I'm going to slide it down and I'm going to move it with it, right? So it's like what's happening is I'm taking it down to there and then I'm taking those two pieces together now and sliding them up and I get that. All right, I can label this eight because that is the one that's straight down and now I need to put all my angles in. And it really is a little bit of problem solving. You've got to look at our picture, look at this, come back to it and try to figure out what's going on. Look at our object, look at this vector here. It's making that 40 degree angle with the horizontal. So that's a 40 degree angle there. Now this one is our force vector going straight down. So if that's 40, that must be 50. All right, so we have one of the internal angles. We only need one more, and then we can kind of finish this off. So what can I see here? Again, I think that there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm going to draw in a little dotted line in here because this vector coincides with this vector here, and it's making a 30-degree angle with the horizontal. I could draw in a little dotted line here. That's also 30 degrees. That's 30 degrees. If that's 30 degrees, that is 60 degrees. And if that's 60 degrees, 60 plus 50 is 110. That means that that one is 70 degrees. All right, that's really the hard part of these questions, right? Once that's done, you can figure out whatever you want to figure out. So um, here I have three internal angles of a triangle, I have one length. 
they're asking me to find the tension in each string. This is one of the strings. This string is that string. That string is that string. And I calculate those tensions. It looks like I'm gonna use the sine rule, I think. Uh, sine A over A equals sine B over B, or sine, sine A over A equals sine B over B, something like that. I'm not actually gonna do that because that's not really the point of this video. You don't need to watch me do the sine rule for the 10th time. Uh, I think that you can calculate that. If you do go ahead and calculate them using the sine rule, you'll get answers of 6.52 and 7.37. Um, a couple more things I want to mention. My triangle looks like this. If you did it yourself, your triangle might be like rotated a little bit or it just might be probably reflected, okay? Depending on which order you did your slides in, it might look like this, it might be reflected, it doesn't matter, you'll still come up with the same numbers. The other thing I'll mention is I haven't been talking about units here. Uh, some people talk in newtons, some people talk in kilogram weight. I'm going to be talking in kilogram weight for the most part. So eight kilogram weight is the particle, eight kilograms going straight down, 6.52 kilogram weight, and 7.37 kilogram weight. They're going to be our, our units of force here. All right, that is it.